In today's video, I will share with you my new thrift finds, my Sam's Club haul, and how I get ready for a sale, a live sale on Instagram. Happy Thursday! Lovely people. <laughs> it's a Christmas classy life here, guys, and I'm in the office and I'm in the butterfly chair. Look at the butterfly chair, guys. Let me show you my I chair. got a new chair and I stuck it in the corner, okay? It's literally stuck in the corner, guys. So literally, I'm going to have this sitting here so when Richard's able to help me do my invoices, he can sit right there and do the invoices. That's for Richard. For See? today, guys. For today. <laughs> Did you guys enjoy your Thursday? It's Friday, Junior. Tomorrow is Friday, and I'm super excited about it. Who else is ready for the weekend besides me? Okay. <laughs> All right, so let's jump into this video. And let's jump into this Sam's Club haul. So the first item I decided to get was the flour tortillas. It's actually a 40 count, guys. So 40 count for $3.98. I think that's a pretty good deal. We're gonna actually do like, I don't know if I'm gonna do quesadillas tonight or what, but I'm gonna use those for my husband. Now the crystal had to get her big bag of Doritos cause I love Doritos, all right? And I got the nacho cheese. Now this is a 19, like a 19 ounce, 19 and three eighths of an ounce bag. All right, the Doritos were priced $3.98 as well. So that is great, great for the Doritos. Now the next thing I was super excited to share with you guys because I know eggs are outrageous right now. So they actually had just these. This is the only ones that they had. Didn't have their other eggs, which is actually, they have eggs sold in a larger pack than this. This is two dozen, okay? 24 eggs. And this was priced at $8.38. Guys, I think $8.38, and these are organic cage-free, grade A large eggs. I don't think that's bad considering what people are paying now, okay? Because I wanna say my sister, she actually got, um, I think a dozen at Aldi for like $5, I think, perhaps. Let me know in the comments below how much your eggs are at Aldi's because I haven't done an Aldi haul in a long time because I haven't been to Aldi, so let me know. This I was really excited about because I buy ground chicken for my husband. You know, my husband Richard, he does not eat beef, all right? So this is a larger pack of the ground chicken and this is a 48 ounce. So all I'm gonna do is divide this up, put it in Ziploc bags, guys. Now this was priced for the ground chicken, it was $9.48. I don't think that's too shabby. I really don't considering what I spend for just one small individual pack at Walmart, yeah. So that, and that's Purdue, at Purdue, because I, <laughs> I buy Purdue at Walmart, okay? Next, I had to get my Brussels sprouts because I like to roast Brussels sprouts in the oven. I think I've done a video where I've showed you guys how I've roast the Brussels sprouts in the oven with brown sugar. So good, guys. Brussels sprouts were actually priced at $4.12. That's good because this is a good size bag. This is two pounds. I had to get some mayo and I'm usually particular about my mayo, but I wasn't particular today. Craft mayo will have to do, all right? So the two pack of the craft mayo was $6.48. I don't think that's too shabby. This is my husband's thing, all right? Y'all know. I was doing Mr. Richard the peanut butter and jellies every day. I was making my husband two peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, but I don't have to do that anymore since I got turned on to the Uncrustables by Smuckers. <laughs> peanut butter and grape jelly sandwiches. All right, so these, it's actually 18 in here and these were priced $13.98 then my sister actually turned me on to these have you guys ever tried these the Marie calendars the pot pies now my sister actually gets the larger size this is when I say larger size meaning larger uh, ounce in the individual pot pies because you can actually purchase these at Walmart 
individually, but they have a smaller size, which I think is these 10 ounce ones. And then they have a larger size. Okay, so this box contains eight, 10 ounce of the Marie Callender's pot pies. My husband likes them, my sister likes them, my dad likes them. So apparently they know what they're talking about. I'm not a pot pie eater, okay? But I wanted to get this because I wanted to have something that I could have in the freezer in the event that I don't have anything left over from dinner, if we go out to eat and we don't have any leftovers, if I go eat dinner with my sister Marianne, typically I do that during the week sometimes, and I don't have anything left over for Richard, I just get his dinner to go and I don't have him anything, I can always have this on standby for his lunch for the following day, okay? Now, what my sister told me to do is when you cook them and you cook them in the oven, Put you some butter on the crust and then put you the aluminum foil over top of it and it makes it extra tasty. Yeah. So that is it for the Sam's Club haul. Now on tomorrow. For you all that don't know, I am a reseller. I have added that to my business classy accents. So I'm gonna actually go live on tomorrow, which is gonna be Friday. So what I wanted to do, I wanted to do uh, like an accessories live. I wanted to do hats. I wanted to do scarves. Scarves. This is a Picasso scarf. So what I need to do, I need to get some items ready and I would love to show you guys what I got. And first, before I do that, let me just show you what I got thrifting today <laughs> today before i show you the hats let me just show you what i got today okay. uh, 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 see. let me show you what i got today <laughs> what i got today all right first thing i got and what i typically do is when i get items of course i've got to clean them i've got to prep them i gotta price them i gotta research them okay so it is a process so this first item is what one of the items that I got, it's a little handbag. All right. So it's it's real different, you know? It's, it's giving that little Chanel vibe. The next item that I got, guys, is actually a camera bag for my husband. Now my husband has a very big camera bag that kind of, you know, holds all of his, the camera and the lenses, but I thought it would be a good idea to try to get him this. It's just as digital concepts, just to get him this in the event if we go somewhere and he wants to take his camera, but he doesn't want to have the big bulky bag, okay? So I thought he could just possibly, you know, put his camera in here. Hopefully it's gonna fit. If his camera does not fit in here, then guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna sell it on the live sale. <laughs> the next thing I got was this hat. All right, this hat is a New Orleans established in 1718 Louisiana French Quarter hat. All right, it is a new hat. <laughs> Told y'all I was doing an accessories sale, so this will fit right in with the hats. Okay. Next item I've got was this, okay? Super excited to research this, guys. I don't know if it's an authentic Chanel wallet or not, okay? So, I went to research it, let you guys know. But it's definitely leather. It's definitely leather, okay? She's old, all right? She's old. She's, she's old, all right? So, she may be a bootleg. I don't know. But, you know, she might be a bootleg. I don't know. But I'm gonna find out and I'll let you guys know, but <laughs> super excited. <laughs> yeah, show y'all what I got. This was actually in a box, but I left the box. <laughs> it's a silk bow tie. Yeah, silk bow tie. And y'all know who I got this for. Phil Richard, my husband. Next item, I got this nice brand new belt for my husband, okay, brand new belt. There you see right there, it says Timberline Slider Belt, okay. Yeah, brand new belt for my husband. That was an awesome buy. It had the box, but I left the box, I didn't need the box. Next was this cute little thing. 
this may be a giveaway. I don't know. I don't know. I, I haven't really decided what I'm going to do with her yet. She may just be a giveaway. From time to time, I do giveaways in my live sales. So this may be a giveaway item. Uh, my iPhone will not fit in here. My iPhone is too big. But look, it makes for a great pencil pouch. Yeah, yeah, pencil pouch. <laughs> Great pencil pouch, especially for that planner girl in you. <laughs> yeah, so that's cute, super cute. It's got sections, got a little chainy chain. Yeah, this is a vintage handbag. I've got to clean her, of course. I'm not quite sure if the hardware is brass or not, but I will probably try my clean cream cleaner on her. She's giving a little briefcase vibe. And I think she's a cute. Oh, I will definitely uh, clean her up, get her looking good, and throw her in the live sale, honey. Okay. This one is quite dusty and has to be washed, but I don't know if you've ever heard of this particular item before. The brand is Laurel Birch. Let me know if you've heard of this brand before, but it's a little tote. It's a little toady tote. It's very clean on the inside, dusty on the outside. So she has to be washed. She'll be sanitized and then she'll be good to go. See, she dusty as crap. So, you know, it is what it is. That's what happens in the thrift world, okay? Some stuff be dusty. You can't be, you know, you can't be, you can't be to shine away. Little dust, little dust, man. You got dust in your house. Well, some of y'all do. Some of y'all might not. <laughs> Next. A little hat okay this little like little slip on little hat i'm gonna throw it in the darn sink and wash it and yeah it, yeah it, uh-huh it's a polar tech hat yeah the little hat getting sold the little hat getting sold or you know i don't know you know what that might be a good work hat for my husband so i might keep that but it's getting washed so it's cool next item is a leather hat now this is a genuine leather hat i don't care nothing about it being leather crystal will still wash it okay crystal will wash stuff all right gotta wash it <laughs> so this cute little leather hat i will have to wash it and yeah he's gonna go in the sale if i decide not to keep it i think i got some good stuff guys let me know what you think what was your favorite item of what i got let me know. Hold on. I got one more item. This little wool hat. Okay. It's a wool hat. All right. It's not a beret. It's like a little, little, little slip on little hat. Okay. All right. I can't put it on my head because I'm going to wash it. <laughs> Crystal's going to wash it. I don't care nothing about it being wool. This hat can be washed. All right. It's wool. You just have to have the proper washing techniques for washing wool i watched a whole youtube video about it and it was excellent excellent information okay the reason why wool stretches and the reason why wool shrinks so basically what the gentleman was saying was um measuring the item before you wash it so once you wash it and it shrinks you're able to reshape it back to its original shape size measurement you know sleeve length and you know shirt length and things of that nature that's very good information and also letting it soak in the the temperature of water and the rinse temperature needs to be the same thing because the way he explained it is like the wool actually like shrinks up once it's washed okay so it was just some great information if i still have the video in my history i will try to make sure that i link it in the description box because it was a wealth of information if you have wool items i have wool items my husband has wool items and you know being able to wash them at home is a savings number one but you know it's gonna also just help you you know be able to enjoy your items longer by being able to launder them at home versus send them to dry clean they jack stuff up <laughs> i'm just saying <laughs> all right so some of the handbags that I would like to offer in this sale, I think I'm gonna do scarves, I think I'm gonna do handbags, and I think I'm going to do, I really wanted to do the hats and the scarves. 
I might not include any handbags. I'm not quite sure if I am or not. I actually showed these the other day. This is a DKNY handbag, a little DKNY genuine leather handbag. It's super cute. I think the size of it, the shape of it's cute, the way that it opens is super cute. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to include handbags in this live sale or not. I don't know if I am. Let me share this bag with you guys because I'm really thinking about keeping this bag. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you think I need to keep this bag. Let me tell you about this bag first. First, I had never heard of the brand before. The brand is called the Raven Lily made in Ethiopia. It does has its um, authentication card information inside of the purse, which was awesome. <laughs> Okay, this is the Addis Weekender Tote in Blue Peony. It's got serial number. The body of the bag is 100% cow leather, honey, and it's soft like butter. The lining is cotton and the trim is brass. That is always a plus. That's like Coach with the uh, brass trim because that way you're able to actually polish it. You know what I'm saying? So the feet are brass on it and uh, probably nine times out of 10, the zippers are brass. So that's amazing. The more I touch her, I want to keep her. Okay, I want to keep her. She is a piece. First of all, she's barely used. Okay, her little thing is not curled up. She don't have no holes on the bottom of her. She's in great condition, guys. She's got this huge zipper right here. I could put my iPad in here and have room to put some other stuff, okay? I don't even know why I'm showing her because I'm probably not gonna see her. I'm probably gonna keep her. Look at this big old zipper. What you think? Should I keep her, sis? Let me know. <laughs> I'll probably go keep her. I'm going to uh, pop up a picture so you can see how much this bag retails for, guys. But only thing I can say, if you want to consider that imperfections, that's wear, that's love. Somebody somebody wore her. You know how you wear something leather and it's got like a scratch here, a scratch there, but I don't feel that it takes away from the bag. No freaking way, honey. It don't take from the bag. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna sell her. I'm probably not. Now, this next bag is a Dooney and Burke. All right, I, I thrifted this Dooney and Burt bag. I don't know what happened to her. I think somebody tried to wash her. I haven't done anything to her, absolutely nothing. That's why I have not showed her, okay? What's wrong with her, guys? Let me know. <laughs> what the freak is wrong with her? What happened to her? Is it the material? Okay, look at her. It's, it's weird, it's weird. It's like the material is bubbled up. Look at that, look at that. It's strange, so strange. I don't know what that is, but she's a real Dooney and Burke. She got a number and everything, okay? She's not a bootleg. She's not a bootleg Dooney. She a real Dooney. She got a little serial number and everything. But what happened to the boot? I mean. What they do to that boo? <laughs> what they do to you, poo? They messed you up. <laughs> what the freak did y'all do to the bag? It was cute too. It's cute. It's zebra and everything. But y'all messed her up. So I don't know. <laughs> Whoever the prior owner was, I don't know what the freak they did to it. Look at the stripes. It's like, what did they do to it? I don't know. I don't know, but look, the leather, leather ain't even messed up on her. They had to dag up give her away. They had to give her away, and they had to give it to the thrift store because they don't ruin her, okay? So is anybody gonna wanna carry her like that? What do you think they did? Do you think they ironed her? I don't know what they did to make the fabric do that. You know, I, I don't know. I, I'm just at a loss about the Dooney and Burke. So I don't know, I don't know about that. Now, this little problem child back here, I told my husband, I'm gonna stop, 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 stop getting handbags. It's the crafty side of me. I'm gonna stop doing that. Getting handbags that require work, okay? Because this one, 
She needs a lot, a lot, a lot of love. She's pink leather, okay? And the brand I never heard of before. L-U-E-L-L-A. Never heard of the brand before. But she needs some love because she's definitely been worn. She's definitely worn on the bottom. She basically needs some leather paint, okay? But I feel like because the structure of the bag is in good condition, I just feel like I could bring her back. I feel like if I painted her, I could bring her back. All right, I love the way that she opens. She opens like the Birkin, okay? So that's the reason why I like her. You know, she's 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 got that kind of vibe about her. She's 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 dusty on the inside. But I feel like I could bring her back to life if I painted her. I'm gonna have to research the painting of leather. I have never done that before. If you guys have, let me know in the comments. I have not painted leather before, so I'm not quite sure how that will turn out. Hmm. So that, that's quite interesting. I'm gonna show you guys the hats real quick. Let's jump into that. Now, a lot of the hats that I have are wool, okay? The wool dress hats. This hat is quite interesting. I love the little details here on the front. I'm gonna have to like, you know, fluff her up and make her look a little pretty. I've gotta dust her off, sanitize her the best I can because I'm not gonna submerge her in water. I'm afraid that I will mess up the shape of her. So when I'm deciding if I wanna get a hat, I gotta look and see how much wear the hat actually has, you know. Um, this one is not too bad, but once I brush her, lint roll her, brushing usually does pretty well. I'll get all the lint off of her and she will be Gucci. <laughs> She'll be good, okay? <laughs> this one, very interesting. Look at this one. Love the little cute little veil. Look at that. I mean, she's a doll baby, for real. Can't put any of these on, okay? I can put them on the mannequin girl. We gonna put it on the mannequin girl. She gonna take one for the team. She like, no, no, don't put that dusty hat on me. <laughs> okay, hunty. Hunty, okay, girl, you you giving it, girl. You serving it, serving it. <laughs> All right, we got it. We got to get her, get her straight, get her cleaned up. All right, this next one. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I really, really was thinking about keeping this one, okay? I was really thinking about keeping this one. It's not the veil for me. The veil, I can kind of do without the veil. It's this, uh, the veil, <clears throat> I got to do something with the veil because I feel like the veil is taken away from it. What is this? It's all of this embellishment right here. Look at this freaking thing, okay? It's beaded. All that's beading. All that's beading going around there. Oh, this hat's fire, okay? It's that stupid veil on there that's messing it up. So what I'm gonna try to do, she likes she got a freaking crown on. Don't she? Oh my goodness, fabulous. She looks like she's got a crown on, okay? She's the mannequin girl ain't doing it justice, okay? So we're not gonna worry about her. But I definitely need to Google this particular hat because I need to figure out the proper way of the way it's supposed to be shaped with this veil. This veil is taken away from the hat and there's absolutely nothing I can do about it because the stupid veil is glued to the top of the hat. So I'm stuck like Chuck. <laughs> Stuck like Chuck with this veil on top of his hat. I can't do nothing about it. Um, the another hat I have is this hat. Now this is a modern hat. This is not a vintage hat. Okay, I'm gonna clean her real good. Just brush her off. She's a Isaac Mizrahi. Am I saying that right? Okay, hat. So this cute little hat is gonna go in the live sale. Next, I've got this fedora. Cute little fedora. I had a bunch of these and they all sold. So this is the last of the hats, okay? It's like a tweed, 
printed uh, red, purple, you know, great fall color. This hat, I'm not sure if I'm gonna sell it because it's got some sweat marks. It's got a sweat mark and I should have left it. Okay, but I couldn't because of all of this fabulousness right here. I couldn't leave her. I couldn't leave her. So I've got to decide what I'm gonna do about her. I could always give the disclaimer, you know, try to clean her as best I can. Give the disclaimer. If they want it, they want it. If they don't, you know, it is what it is. This one is a little wonky. This one, I was like, okay, is she supposed to be like that? You see how she just naturally going that way, honey. I believe that's her natural look. Look, she got this little thing right here. Little bow, look cute, cute little bow, cute, cute. She giving cowboy. <laughs> Next is a little church lady hat. We got the church lady hat with the gold and it's got that little iridescent look to her. Honey, I'm feeling you, but I ain't got no outfit to wear with her. So that's the reason why I was like, I don't think I'm gonna keep her. And I don't even think anybody wore this thing. So that's one reason why she's definitely going in the sale. I can't have all these hats sitting around. Y'all, I got hats upstairs on my wall because I'm a hat person. In my green room, they used to be the coupon filming room. <laughs> I got hats up there on the wall and hats stacked up. So no more, no more hats. All right, this is a wool hat. I need to brush her again because I've had stuff sitting on top of her. It's a Croft and Barrow wool hat. Cutie, cutie, cutie little hat. You could wear her however you wanted to wear her. You could honestly not even wear her that way if you wanted to. I mean, I feel like you could wear her up or you wanted to, or you could wear her down. I will say that in the live sale, just to give you the versatility of the hat. However the person wants to wear it. Got another uh, lady hat, all right? Super cute hat, all right? <laughs> She's cutie, she is a cutie. I wasn't sure if I was going to keep her or not, but she is a cutie. So I don't think I am. The full top of the hat is sequined. The entire hat is sequined. This hat has got a lot of embellishment. And when I tell you, hats like these are not cheap. They are not cheap. So wasn't quite sure what I was going to do. This one I was very interested in because it has, this is a straw hat. So this is a, you know, a lighter spring summer hat, but it has little lace and beads on it or lace and excuse me, small sequins on it. So that's the little sparkle that you see. I was like, uh, she cute. She is cute. Come on, American girl. Do your thing. Do your thing thing. Yeah. She the floppy hat. She the floppy hat. She's cute. This one is going in the sale because I honestly was going to keep her, but I don't think she fits my head too good because I have got um, hair and my hair needs to be flat, flat to wear a hat that really my head ain't supposed to fit. <laughs> and I ain't fooling with all that. So yeah, she's pretty though. She is pretty. She's got this beading going around the edge of her brim and she's got the little feathers, okay? So she's a cutie, cutie, cutie as well. If you're a hat person, let me know in the comments below. And if you had a favorite hat, let me know which one was your favorite hat, honey. I needs to know. <laughs> so I guess I'm gonna jump on getting some of these items ready for the live sale. So I hope you guys have an amazing day on tomorrow. Happy Friday. Have an amazing day tomorrow, and I'll holler at you guys later. Bye-bye.